good night, technically it's like 9.30, and uh, you know what time it is, welcome back to 9.22 p.m. Are you done talking? Welcome back to another video, and I don't even know if you can call this a series, it's just real chill, <laughs> um, just sitting back and talking about baseball, the best sport on the planet, we got my dog nibbling on my bed sheets, we got my brother sleeping on his bed on the other side of the room, typical. So, got my flash right here, Got just turned on the camera, and today, we're talking about an American League team. So, we're switching back and forth between the National American League team, we talked about the Cubs, Red Sox, and Dodgers. So, go check out those videos, go check out all the other videos I've been posting too. And, today we're talking about the Seattle Mariners. Um, they are the closest team to where I was born, I was born in Portland, Oregon. Seattle is about 175 miles away from Portland. So, uh, let's just talk about the dumpster fire organization of the Seattle Mariners. I could talk about some of the good teams, like the Yankees, or the, uh, the White Sox, or the team that should be projected to be really good, like the Padres, or the confusing teams like the Rays, but until something has been done to those teams, I'm not going to talk about them because I don't want to do two videos on one team without getting one video on every team. So I'm just saving till something really big happens to talk about those teams. Plus, I'm trying to talk about teams that aren't really being talked about. Like, I talk about the Cubs, the Red Sox. Of course, people talk about the Dodgers, but that was after the Padre trade. But the Mariners were going to the West Coast to talk about the Mariners. So, the Mariners. Dumpster fire, as I already said. Um, last class appearance was 2004. I don't even know when their last winning season was. I mean, like, I could have looked it up, but I'm, that's just sad. I mean, and all the good players they had. Tino Martinez, Edgar Martinez, King Griffey Jr., Randy Johnson, Ichiro Suzuki. Uh, and the list goes on and on. Kyle Seeger, Felix Hernandez. Uh, I don't know if you want to put... Kyle Siegel in that conversation, but he is good. I think they're best current player, and what are the Mariners even doing? Okay, so Evan White at first base was good. Who the goddamn second baseman? I don't even know. But, uh, Mitch Hanager, the Mitch Hanager on this team, and that that's all you have to say. Did not did he even play in 2020? He's been out for like a year and a half. Like, what are you doing? And when was the last big signing? Like, oh, you traded you traded Robinson Cano. Yeah, yeah, the the guy that got busted for steroids and and yeah, that totally turned out well. I mean, twenty eighteen was a good season. You had Edwin Diaz, fifty two saves, and you had uh, Matt Smith, Mallet Smith. That's his name. Mallet Smith with like forty six stolen bases, but he couldn't hit water if he fell out of a boat. Um. Yeah, this team. The only bright thing, I guess you could say, is their prospects. The stuff they got back from the Mets and that Robinson Cano and Edwin Diaz trade, along with Evan White, uh, Kyle Seeger has always looked good for a couple of years. And, uh, um, what's his name? Marco Gonzalez. Marco Gonzalez. Yeah, he's on the Mariners. I get the Mariners and the Rangers messed up all the time, so I'm trying to keep them straight. But Marco Gonzalez, mm, what do, what do we even say anymore? Like, I think the Mariners are going to finish up the bottom of the division once again in 2021 and in 2022 and 2023. Do they even have a direction of where they're trying to go? Because um, no World Series appearances. Somehow the goddamn Rangers have two World Series appearances in the last 20 years over the Mariners. But, uh, I mean, Mike Trout t treats the Mariners ballpark, what's it, T-Mobile Stadium, like, like batting practice. I Oh my god, the amount of home runs that he's hit there and all of their pitchers is insane. I mean, like, Mike Trout just uses them. It could be counted as abuse what Mike Trout does to the Mariners. I mean, you could probably say the same thing about uh, the Astros. They probably destroy... 9.26 p.m. Are you done talking? They probably destroy the Mariners, too. Whether on the road or at home, but... I don't know what direction this team is going in. Like, 
I mean, they have some prospects because I know they made some trades. But their current product that they are putting out there is not entertaining. Not good. Like I said a couple of times, a dumpster fire. That's probably going to be in the title of this video, but... What do you do with the Seattle Mariners? Like... Like, there's a three and a half hour documentary done on them. And, I mean, it was interesting. Secret Base did a good job on that, but... But, but the, the Mariners, do they have anything? Anything. Like, they just tell me anything. Plus, no one stays in Seattle. Just like in that documentary, they talked about how, uh... Uh, what's his name? King Griffey Jr. left. Randy Johnson left. Uh... I don't even know why Felix Hernandez stayed there for 15 goddamn years. He had a perfect game at least. And, uh... But... Uh, I feel bad for Mariners fan. Like, how can you support the, the product that you put out on the field on a daily basis? Getting smacked around by every team in the West. I mean, it's just sad. It is just sad that, that um... Actually, I'm checking something. Nine. Who had the worst record in the 2020 MLB season? The Pirates finished in last place in the MLB last season with oh. a record of 19 and 41. Who had the worst record in the American League in the 2020 season? The Rangers finished in oh. last place in okay. the American League last season with a record of 22 and 38. Seattle Mariners record. The Mariners were 27 and 33 last yeah. season. That's third place in the AL West. But Wait, third? They finished third? Okay, that is shocking, honestly. But, still not good. Uh, yeah, I have no clue anymore. And we're going to do like a depth chart real quick, okay? Who is the catcher for the Mariners? The listed catchers for the Mariners are Tom Murphy and Luis Torrens. Tom Murphy is can, a below average. I say he's a below average catcher for a team. I mean, he wouldn't be starting on any other team but the Mariners. Who plays first base for the Mariners? The first baseman for the Mariners are Evan White and Jose Marmolejos. Okay, so Evan White looks good, but Jose Marmolejos, uh, like, 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 no, Evan White. Didn't he want to go glove, I think? But Marmo Leos is a no, no. Mm -mm. Who plays second base for the Mariners? The second baseman for the Mariners are Shed Long Jr. and Sam Haggerty. Okay, Shed Long. I didn't know he was a junior. But he looked like he's going to be a good player, just super, super young, and haven't really shown everything he can do yet. Who is a shortstop for the Mariners? The shortstops for the Mariners are J.P., Crawford, Dylan Moore, and Donovan Walton. Okay, I thought J.P. Crawford was on the Rangers. J.P. Crawford is a dang good player. I love J.P. Crawford. I know he did win a gold glove, and Dylan Moore is really, really good, too. Uh, so that's actually some bright spot. Their future looks bright, but their current, which is doo-doo. Who is a third baseman for the Mariners? The third baseman for the Mariners are Kyle Seeger and Ty France. Kyle Seeger, Ty France, get out of here. Kyle Seeger, you could honestly trade him and get a lot back for him. I mean, what he did in 2019-2020 was really, really good, and you could get a lot of prospects back for him. Who is a left fielder for the Mariners? Taylor Trammell is a left fielder for the Mariners. Taylor Trammell, Trammell, I thought you were on the Padres. You might have gotten traded. Oh, yes, didn't he, yeah, wasn't Aaron Nola on that team, and the Padres and the Mariners made a trade, sending Aaron Nola to the Padres, so I did not know that Taylor Trammell was involved in that trade, so I think he's going to be really good. So, who is a center fielder for the Mariners? The listed center fielders for the Mariners are Jake Fraley. And Braden Bishop. I don't know who either of those guys are. But let's hope they're somewhat good. Who is a right fielder on the Mariners? The right fielders for the Mariners are Mitch Hanager 
and Kyle Lewis. Okay, Kyle Lewis looks like a stud. Won the rookie of the year. He's going to be good. Hopefully he pans out. And Nick Hanager, like I said, no, 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 he's not good. Who is a designated hitter on the Mariners? Sorry, I don't know the answer to that one. Of course you don't. Who is a pitcher on the Mariners? There are 24 pitchers on the Mariners. You say Kikuchi, Kendall Graveman, Marco Gonzalez, Keenan Middleton, Rafael Montero. Do you want to hear the next five players? Yes. Brandon Brennan, KC Sadler, Eric Swanson, Andres Munoz, Justice Sheffield. Want to hear the next five players? Yes. Justin Dunn, Robert Duggar, Aaron Fletcher, Joey Gerber, Nick Margavichus. Want to hear the next five players? Yes. Anthony Misiewicz, Lil Jay Newsom, Johan Ramirez, Domingo Tapia, Sam Delaplane. Delaplane. Do you want to hear the last four players? Yes. Chris Flexen, Wyatt Mills, Juan Nen, and Will Vest. Honestly, I couldn't. I could only name three of their pitchers. Gonzalez, you say Katsuchi. I've heard of Casey Sadler and Justice Sheffield, who I get mixed up with the quarterback for the for the Chargers. Justice. Uh, who is the starting quarterback for the Chargers? Herbert. Justin Herbert is the yeah. starting quarterback for the Chargers. Justin Herbert. Uh, yeah, I, I get I get them mixed up for some reason. One's a quarterback, one's a pitcher. But um, Herbert looked good in 2020. Uh, Marco Gonzalez is clearly the ace. You say Kikuchi had done jack squat. And uh, Casey Sala. I just heard your name. Interesting name. But like going over that roster, I am... Um, no wonder they won, like, 27 games in a 60-game season. And I'm going to say the final thing on them is, I guess, the Mariners... 9.34 p.m. Are you done talking when I'm talking? Um, The Mariners are a, a bad team. I was going to say good team, but no, they are a bad team. But if they keep doing some trades, like I said, they could trade Marco Gonzalez, get some prospects, trade Kyle Seager, get some prospects. I think they're going to really build around Taylor Trammell, Evan White, J.P. Crawford, and Justice Sheffield. They can really build around those four, like, core four of the Mariners. Like, uh, Justin, I'm going to call him Justin Herbert. Justice Sheffield can turn into Randy Johnson. Taylor Trammell can turn into Ken Griffey Jr. Evan White can turn into Etrio. And, uh... With the fourth guy named J.P. Crawford can turn into Edgar Martinez. I don't know if it's gonna be that easy, but uh, we, sure, sure. So um, keep turning away your future. Five years. Hopefully you're good. Can they even make the playoff in the next five years? Um. I say yes. I say yes that they could probably okay in their own division. The Astros are gonna get worse because by then our two base contract will be up. Springer and uh, Jake Marisnik and Michael Brantley will be gone. Granky contract will be up. I think he'll be gone. I think the Astros are gonna look real bad. No one wants to stay in Houston, and uh, they're gonna have Jordan Alvarez because he's on his rookie contract, so he'll stay there for six years. Um, the Athletics. I think they're gonna be really good. The Angels hopefully do something. Do something, Angels. And the Rangers, I think, are going to disappear into obscurity. The rest of the league, Abreu, I mean, the, the White Sox are going to look good. Um, The Yankees and Rays and the Blue Jays. So that Yankees, Rays, Blue Jays, Athletics, hopefully Angels, White Sox, and Mariners. Maybe. So that's more than five teams if they go back to the regular playoff system. So they won't make that in that situation, but they should be at least relevant. Please be at least relevant. Seattle, please, at the very least, be at least relevant. Uh, that's all I got for today. PM. We're going to be back tomorrow, Christmas. Why do I keep doing this? It's not Christmas Eve, it's New Year's Eve. With some more baseball and chill. Uh... All a bunch more video coming up and going up on the channel constantly, and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye, guys. No. Turn off flashlight. Okay, I turned flashlight off. We're out.